Lee, thanks for sitting down with us. The first time we've had the opportunity to talk on camera. So first of all, how has your start to life been at Ipswich? It's been excellent. Um, been welcomed in, into the group by the staff and the players. Um, we've enjoyed some nice weather uh, down in Suffolk for the first couple of weeks. And then of course, um, a really intense, um, good week of training here at uh, Loughborough. So yeah, it's been really good. Yeah, you mentioned Loughborough. How have you found this week? It's been excellent. Um, great facilities, um, a nice opportunity for the group to be together. Uh, I think for me as well, really important week in terms of really being able to get to understand the dynamic of the group. Um, get a bit of time to spend with the staff um, on a one-to-one -one basis, um, as well as in a group, obviously. So yeah, it's been excellent for that. Um, and as I say, lots of hard work for the boys. Mm -hmm. So um, really important training week. You knew a few of the staff before you came here, of course. Um, how have you find in building the relationship with those staff and also the players as well? Yeah, fortunately for me, um, you know, the manager I had a relationship with previously. Um, Martin I had a relationship with previously. Um, Reg, the goalkeeper coach, you know, we've come across our paths have crossed several times throughout our careers um, whilst playing. Um, Charlie, not so much, but um, what I will say is that all of them have been wonderful in helping me adjust to life on the other side, on the dark side, as it were. Um, and in terms of the playing squad, they've all been great with me. Um, you know, I had my, my expectations around the group anyway. Um, I'd obviously done plenty of work coming into the role, um, but they've been excellent. None of them have, um, you know, fallen short of my expectations. And they, uh, in terms of a personal relationship, they've all been great. So. Um, Really good um, and looking forward to continuing to build those relationships over the, the coming weeks. Of course, you, you're not just moving to a new club, it's also a new role going from a player to a coach as well. So how has that transition been? Yeah, it's been really good. Um, I was ready. I was really ready. I think anybody over the course of the last probably two or three years has probably noticed um, a shift in how I was approaching my work as a player. Um, and probably from, from before that as well, but certainly over the last sort of two or three years, um, you would have seen me become very much focused on life after playing. Um, so a lot of that work has been done for this moment really, mm -hmm. to give myself the best opportunity to, to be successful and to, to benefit um, the club that I'm working for. So that transition has been relatively smooth. Um, of course, it's different being a coach to a player. Um, the early starts and late finishes, as much as I was um, fully expecting them are different, um, but have been great. Um, fully immersed, been given lots of opportunities and responsibility by the manager. Um, so really for me and at the deep end, which is where I want to be. You've, like you say, you've been thinking about moving into coaching now for a little while and planning this move, but why was it Ipswich that was the right club for you to start that journey with? Yeah, I mean, for me, there was probably a, a checklist of several things that I went through mentally in terms of making that decision. Um, and when the call came from Kieran um, and we spoke a bit about how the role would look, we talked about the detail of it, what he would want for me, what responsibilities I'd be given. I have to say um, that coupled with the football club, where it's at currently um, and perhaps where it's looking to be within you know, the medium, short, medium and long term, I'd say every box was ticked, every box was ticked and it was really just a case of, okay, how can we make this happen? Um, I was really excited about the opportunity, immensely looking forward to it and um, from, from the point of that first conversation with Kieran, it was um, just a real excitement around you know, getting started and, and getting on with the job. You are, of course, just starting out in your coaching career, but are there any particular ambitions that you do want to achieve now you are a coach rather than a player? Yeah, I mean, again, I think anybody that knows me well and has spent any time in my company over the last couple of years will probably know that um, I've not made it any secret that I want to go on and manage at some point. Um, but what I'm well aware of is, is that I've got lots and lots to learn before that. And um, I feel like... I'm in a really, really good place to go and do that um, in an excellent football club to start off with, um, but under a management team and with coaches that are vastly, vastly more experienced than myself. Of course, I bring something different, which is why I'm here. Um, 
but coaches that have lots and lots of experience that I can draw upon myself um, and that I can take with me hopefully at some stage. I'm certainly not looking to do that in the, in the short term. Mm. Um, as I say, I'm very aware of the fact that um, this is a learning period for me. Um, you know, I'll probably have this down as you know my PhD in, in in football management under you know what I would consider one of the brightest young managers in um, in the game currently in England. Um, so so yeah, really excited about that fact. Um, and as I say, looking forward to laying the foundation laying the foundations personally for hopefully a long career in coaching and then eventually management. How much have you already learned working with Kieran and Martin and the rest of the staff? Yeah, lots. Um, lots and lots. Probably too much to list now. Um, but, you know, every morning I feel like I'm, I'm coming away with um, a little snippet um, or a little, whether it's a conversation, um, whether it's manner, whether it's something as basic as um, how we set up in the mornings, mm. all of that stuff I'm picking up. Charlie's been great with me, spent a lot of time um, working alongside Charlie and Martin. Um, but of course, you know, the manager, looking at how he organises the staff, the structure, um, his attention to detail is probably second to none in terms of my own experiences in the game. So every day for me is a learning day um, at this stage. And actually, I'd probably like to take that attitude with me going forward anyway. You know, yeah. I think probably the best coaches, the best managers are those are the ones that don't stand still and they are continually looking to develop. And just finally, there's maybe one question that you might have been asked a few times. You, you are our first team coach here. Mm -hmm. Why was it that you wanted to go into the, the mainstream coaching, if you like, rather than specifying in goalkeeping, which is, of course, what you did as a player? Yeah, it's an interesting one. I mean, for me, the, the question almost feels... Um, irrelevant because I'm a player, um, I've had a, a long playing career, one that I've enjoyed. Um, my first love of course was goalkeeping, that's certainly the position where I was able to um, have some success in to a degree. Um, but in terms of my understanding of the game um, and really what I want to do going forward, it's always centred around the whole game. Um, mm. So I think anybody that really enjoys football, um, really studies the game and is really dedicated to, to helping others improve, um, it matters not really, in my opinion, what position they've played um, and what they've done prior. You know, we've, seen, we've seen top managers at all levels of the game that have barely had a career in the game or haven't had a career in the game, yeah. let alone played. Um, 500 games or so in a different position to perhaps some of the other top managers. So there's a real broad spectrum when you look at it like that. Of course, it's um, no secret that there aren't or hasn't been to this point a plethora of goalkeepers that have gone on to manage. There's been some notable ones recently in Nuno and, and others, you know, Kevin Blackwell going back a bit further and lots of others that I could reel off. But yeah, for me, it's just a case of... Um, the area of the, the game that I enjoy coaching the most, um, have the most passion for going forwards. Um, so it was an absolute no-brainer. Um, and of course, if you want to manage um, at some point in the future, coaching um, outfield, as it were, mm. uh, would have to be the route. So yeah, for me, um, a no-brainer um, and a journey that I'm really excited to go forward with.